Let's walk on the wise path. Hey there. Have you ever felt like life is just a never-ending loop? Like you're stuck in some kind of cosmic video game, hitting the same levels over and over again? What if I told you that ancient wisdom holds the keys to break free from this simulation and unlock your true potential? Yup, you heard that right. Today, we're diving into some mind-blowing ancient secrets that could change your life forever. So grab your favorite drink, sit back, and let's embark on this journey together. The Illusion of the Simulation First things first, let's talk about the idea of life being a simulation. It's a concept that's been buzzing around, especially with all the advancements in technology and virtual reality. But guess what? This isn't just some modern sci-fi fantasy. Ancient cultures have been onto this idea for centuries. Take the ancient Hindu philosophy, for example. They talk about Maya, the great illusion that makes us perceive the world as we see it. It's like we're all living in a grand, cosmic magic trick, and the key is to see through it. Ancient thinkers and spiritual leaders from different cultures have long suggested that the reality we experience is not the ultimate reality. For instance, in Plato's Allegory of the Cave, prisoners are chained in a cave and can only see shadows on the wall, believing those shadows to be the entirety of reality. It's only when one prisoner escapes and sees the world outside the cave that he understands the depth of the illusion he was living in. Similarly, the Buddhist concept of samsara refers to the cycle of life, death, and rebirth, which is driven by ignorance and desire, trapping beings in a continuous loop of suffering. The fascinating part is that modern science and philosophy are catching up to these ancient insights. With theories like the simulation hypothesis, popularized by thinkers like Nick Bostrom, there's a growing discussion about the possibility that our reality might be an advanced computer simulation. Even some physicists and cosmologists entertain the idea, pointing to the mathematical nature of the universe and the possibility that we are living in a virtual reality created by a more advanced civilization. But whether or not we are literally living in a simulation, the metaphor is powerful. It encourages us to question our assumptions, to look deeper, and to seek a higher understanding of our existence. It's about recognizing that there may be layers of reality that we have yet to uncover, and that by expanding our consciousness, we can begin to see through the illusion. The Wisdom of the Ancients So, how did the ancients propose we break free from this illusion? Let's take a look at some of their profound teachings. Throughout history, different cultures have developed unique paths to transcend the illusion of ordinary life and reach a higher state of consciousness. These paths often involve practices of self-discipline, spiritual insight, and a deep connection with the universe. Hinduism and the Path of Enlightenment In Hinduism, the ultimate goal is moksha liberation from the cycle of birth and death. It's like leveling up in the ultimate game of life. But how do you achieve moksha? It's all about self-realization and understanding that you are more than just your physical body. Meditation, yoga, and a deep sense of introspection are your tools here. Think of it as your cheat code to transcend the ordinary and tap into the extraordinary. Hindu sages teach that our true essence is the Atman, the inner self or soul, which is eternal and beyond the physical form. By realizing the Atman, we recognize our unity with Brahman, the ultimate reality or world soul. This realization is often described as a profound transformative experience that brings immense peace and clarity. Practices like meditation and yoga are designed to quiet the mind and focus our awareness inward. In meditation, we learn to observe our thoughts without getting attached to them, allowing us to see beyond the constant chatter of the mind Yoga, with its various postures and breathing exercises, helps to align the body and mind, creating a state of balance and harmony. Buddhism and the Middle Way Buddhism, on the other hand, offers us the middle way. It's about finding balance and avoiding extremes. Buddha taught that life is full of suffering, but by understanding the Four Noble Truths and following the Eightfold Path, we can achieve nirvana, a state of ultimate peace and freedom. 
Imagine living a life where you're not constantly pushed around by your desires and fears. It's like finally getting the manual to navigate the game of life without constantly crashing. The Four Noble Truths lay out a clear understanding of the nature of suffering and its causes. The first truth acknowledges that suffering is an inherent part of life. The second truth identifies the cause of suffering as attachment and desire. The third truth offers hope, stating that the cessation of suffering is possible. The fourth truth provides a practical guide to achieving this cessation through the Eightfold Path. The Eightfold Path consists of principles like right understanding, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. By following these principles, we develop a mindful and ethical approach to life that reduces suffering and enhances our sense of inner peace. Both Hinduism and Buddhism emphasize the importance of looking beyond the superficial aspects of life and connecting with a deeper, more profound reality. They offer practical tools and insights that can help us navigate the complexities of modern life with greater ease and understanding. The Power of Perception One of the biggest lessons we can learn from these ancient teachings is the power of perception. It's not just about what's happening to us, but how we perceive and react to it. In Stoic philosophy, they talk about controlling what you can and accepting what you can't. Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers, used to remind himself that it's not the events themselves that disturb us, but our interpretations of them. It's like having the power to change the game settings from within. Stoicism teaches that we have the power to choose our responses to external events. This perspective can be incredibly liberating as it shifts the focus from trying to control the uncontrollable to managing our own reactions. By practicing mindfulness and self-awareness, we can develop a greater sense of inner calm and resilience. The Stoics also emphasized the importance of living in accordance with nature and reason. They believed that, by aligning our actions with the natural order of the universe and using our rational minds, we can achieve a state of inner harmony. This involves accepting the inevitable changes and challenges of life with grace and equanimity. Ancient Practices for Modern Times Now you might be wondering, how do I apply these ancient secrets in my modern life? Great question. Let's break it down. Ancient wisdom provides us with timeless practices that can be seamlessly integrated into our contemporary lives. These practices not only help us navigate the complexities of modern living, but also bring a sense of balance and fulfillment. Let's explore a couple of these practices in more detail. Meditation and Mindfulness First up, Meditation and Mindfulness. These practices aren't just for monks on mountaintops. They're for anyone and everyone looking to find a bit of peace in this chaotic world. Start with just a few minutes a day. Close your eyes, take deep breaths, and let your mind settle. It's like hitting the pause button on the game, giving you a moment to recalibrate and refocus. Meditation has been practiced for thousands of years across various cultures and spiritual traditions. Its benefits are now widely recognized by modern science including reduced stress, improved concentration, and enhanced emotional well-being. To get started, find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Sit comfortably, close your eyes, and focus on your breath. As you breathe in and out, allow your thoughts to come and go without judgment. If your mind wanders, gently bring your attention back to your breath. With regular practice, you'll find it easier to stay present and centered even in the midst of life's challenges. Mindfulness, on the other hand, is about bringing your full attention to the present moment. It's about being fully engaged in whatever you're doing, whether it's eating, walking, or having a conversation. One simple way to practice mindfulness is through mindful breathing. Take a few moments throughout the day to focus on your breath, noticing the sensations of inhaling and exhaling. This practice can help you stay grounded and reduce stress. Embracing impermanence Another powerful practice is embracing impermanence. The ancient Buddhists nailed it with this one. Everything is constantly changing, and that's okay. 
instead of fighting against it, learn to flow with it. It's like surfing, you don't control the waves, but you can learn to ride them. The more you practice, the better you get at staying balanced. Embracing impermanence means acknowledging that change is a natural part of life. This awareness can help us let go of attachments and expectations, allowing us to navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease. One way to practice this is by reflecting on the transient nature of our experiences. When something good happens, savor the moment, knowing that it won't last forever. Similarly, when faced with difficulties, remind yourself that they too are temporary. This perspective can be especially helpful in dealing with loss and disappointment. By accepting that everything is subject to change, we can cultivate a sense of equanimity and resilience. Instead of resisting or clinging to what is, we learn to flow with the natural rhythm of life, finding peace in the present moment. Community and Connection Let's not forget the importance of community and connection. The ancients lived in tight-knit communities, and there's a reason for that. We thrive when we're connected. In today's world, it's easy to feel isolated, even with all our social media. But true connection goes deeper. Reach out to friends and family, join groups with similar interests, and engage in meaningful conversations. It's like finding allies in the game who help you level up and face challenges together. Human beings are inherently social creatures, and our well-being is deeply influenced by the quality of our relationships. Ancient cultures understood this and placed a strong emphasis on community and social bonds. Today, despite being more connected than ever through technology, many people still experience feelings of loneliness and isolation. Reconnecting with the wisdom of the ancients can help us build more meaningful and supportive relationships. One way to foster connection is by being present and attentive in our interactions. Put away your phone, make eye contact, and listen actively when someone is speaking to you. Show genuine interest and empathy, and you'll find that your relationships become richer and more fulfilling. The Hero's Journey Ever heard of Joseph Campbell's Hero's Journey? It's a narrative pattern that's found in stories from every culture around the world. It's the classic tale of a hero who goes on an adventure, faces trials, and comes back transformed. But here's the kicker, your life is your hero's journey. Each challenge you face is a call to adventure, and each victory is a step towards becoming your true self. Embrace it and see yourself as the hero of your own story. Joseph Campbell's concept of the hero's journey, also known as the monomyth, is a universal pattern that underlies countless myths, legends, and stories from around the world. It describes the journey of a hero who leaves their ordinary world, embarks on a transformative adventure, overcomes challenges, and returns home with newfound wisdom and strength. This pattern resonates deeply with our own experiences and can provide a powerful framework for understanding and navigating our lives. The hero's journey begins with the call to adventure, where the hero is presented with a challenge or opportunity that disrupts their ordinary life. In our own lives, this call might come in the form of a new job, a move to a different city, or a personal crisis. It's an invitation to step out of our comfort zone and embrace the unknown. As the hero embarks on their journey, they encounter trials and obstacles that test their resolve. These challenges are essential for growth and transformation. In our own lives, we face difficulties and setbacks that push us to develop new skills, overcome fears, and build resilience. Each obstacle is an opportunity to learn and grow, shaping us into stronger and more capable individuals. Practical Steps to Escape the Simulation All right, let's get down to some practical steps you can start taking today to escape the simulation and live a more empowered life. Ancient wisdom provides us with valuable insights and practices that can help us navigate the complexities of modern living. By integrating these practices into our daily routines, we can cultivate a greater sense of purpose and fulfillment. Let's explore a few practical steps you can take to escape the simulation and live a more empowered life. Self-awareness. The first step is self-awareness. Take time to reflect on your thoughts, feelings, and actions. 
Journaling can be a great tool for this. It's like keeping a logbook in the game, helping you track your progress and learn from your experiences. Self-awareness is the foundation of personal growth and transformation. It involves developing a deep understanding of your inner world, including your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. One effective way to cultivate self-awareness is through journaling. Set aside a few minutes each day to write about your experiences, feelings, and reflections. This practice can help you gain clarity, identify patterns, and uncover insights that guide your growth. Set intentions. Next, set clear intentions. What do you want to achieve? What kind of person do you want to become? Setting intentions is like setting your game objectives. It gives you a clear direction and purpose. Setting intentions involves identifying your goals and aspirations and creating a roadmap to achieve them. Take some time to reflect on what truly matters to you and what you want to accomplish. Write down your intentions and review them regularly. This practice can help you stay focused and motivated, guiding your actions and decisions towards your desired outcomes. Practice gratitude. Practice gratitude. Every day, Take a moment to acknowledge the good things in your life. It's like collecting power-ups in the game. The more you focus on the positives, the more resilient you become. Gratitude is a powerful practice that can transform your perspective and enhance your well-being. Each day, take a moment to reflect on the things you're grateful for. This could be anything from a kind gesture, from a friend to a beautiful sunset. By focusing on the positives, you can cultivate a sense of appreciation and contentment, which can help you navigate challenges with greater resilience. Embrace challenges. Embrace challenges as opportunities for growth. Remember, every obstacle is a chance to level up. Approach problems with curiosity and creativity, and you'll find that they become less daunting. Challenges are an inevitable part of life, but they also provide valuable opportunities for growth and learning. When faced with a challenge, try to view it as a chance to develop new skills and gain new insights. Approach problems with an open mind and a sense of curiosity, and you'll find that they become less intimidating. Each obstacle you overcome strengthens your resilience and prepares you for future challenges. Continuous learning. Finally, commit to continuous learning. The ancients never stopped seeking knowledge, and neither should you. Read books, take courses, and stay curious. It's like constantly upgrading your skills in the game, keeping you ahead of the curve. Continuous learning is essential for personal and professional growth. Make a commitment to lifelong learning by seeking out new knowledge and experiences. Read books, attend workshops, take online courses, and explore new hobbies. By staying curious and open to new ideas, you can continuously expand your horizons and stay ahead of the curve. So there you have it, the ancient secrets to escape the simulation and live a life of purpose and fulfillment. Remember, it's not about completely changing who you are, but uncovering the true potential that's already within you. The ancients have left us a treasure trove of wisdom, and it's up to us to use it. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more life-changing content. And if this video resonated with you, drop a comment below saying, it made sense to me. Share your thoughts, your struggles, and your victories. Let's build a community of heroes supporting each other on this incredible adventure called life. Until next time, keep exploring, keep growing. And remember the power to change your life is in your hands. Let's escape the simulation together.